All right, so here's the project. So let's check this out. Let's go ahead and add some sounds into here. And what I want to do is <clears throat> for the project, uh, it calls for adding in just a couple of MIDI sounds in here. And let me just go ahead and grab these and put this all back in waveform. And so if we want to look at what this actually says here, let me go here and grab this. So here's our rough mix on effects project. Let's go ahead and look at the one for this week, which is the MIDI and it's due on Sunday. And uh, this milestone will be done in your Pro Tools editing project. Please listen, listen to your song and make two software instruments and record MIDI data that fits with your song. The instruments you create can be any type, drums, piano, brass, strings, synth pads, etc. <clears throat> the instrument must fit the music and the notes you play must match the key of the song. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into this verse part here and let's grab, let's make a synthy, like a bell type of thing, I guess. I'm going to put it down here with my, before my vocals, after my guitars. And um, let's grab two different tracks. So we have two different instruments here, and one will be some bells, and the other will be some kind of a pad or something like that. All right, so in here are the bells. Let's go to instrument, and let's use, do, 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 Let's see what we've got here in Omnisphere. Let's use Omnisphere. <clears throat> Um, so Ashton, yeah, remember I mentioned about this yesterday and I'll have him change it as well. But, uh, so if you were, if you were paying attention yesterday when I talked about this in zoom, I did mention about this and that I was going to change it to Sunday and I had to change it. And so Nick just didn't change his yet. So, uh, the answer is yes. And the other answer is, uh, if, it, like things happen fast, man. And like all you people need to understand things happen fast. And if you step away from your computer and it's like, this is very different from class, but like in class, if you go to the bathroom and you miss something and you come back and then like a week later, we talk about that thing that you missed. That's because you were in the bathroom. Same thing happens here. If you step away from your computer and you miss something that I talk about, it only, it only takes me like a half second to say, this was due on Thursday, but I'm changing it to Sunday. Don't worry about it. If you step away for like two seconds, you're going to miss that, right? So, yeah, that's what happened. So, um, y'all are like, everybody's like very on edge today. I feel like everybody's like just trying to catch me out on something. And it's a bit frustrating, to be honest. Uh, okay, so let's go in here to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I've got my uh, Omnisphere up. And in Omnisphere, I don't know if y'all have used Omnisphere, but Omnisphere is dope. A F. Um, so I'm going to go into my patch browser here and we're going to grab a, let me go ahead and turn my, this one on and let's go to, 
Uh, bells and vibes. Bell synergies. Let me turn this down, make sure we're not blasting everybody out here. Definitely not that, that is for show. <laughs> well, but yeah, so I'll, I'll be I'll make sure that he's uh, that he's up to up to speed with everything, and then um, and if you're trying to get in late like today or whatever, uh, if you turned or if you said sorry you said if you turned it in on bup, 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 bup. yeah it would do on Sunday or whatever you turn it on like by Sunday it, you're gonna be fine like like I said don't stress the due date so much because we're gonna get all this stuff together. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Ashton. Here, we'll go here with this. No, does SAE have discounts for Omnisphere? And the answer is nobody has discounts for Omnisphere. Omnisphere, these guys are tough. These guys, uh, they're called Spectrosonics and they don't do discounts on anybody. Like right now, because of the coronavirus and everything, everybody's running discounts. Everybody's running like summertime discounts and all this stuff. Not Omnis here. They are not running any discounts and I've never seen them run discounts. It's, it's annoying. I even like, I mean, I get discounts on like almost everything and I, I paid $500 for this, so. Okay, so let's go ahead. I wanna feel your words. He embrace me Like skin across your Guys, please don't say stuff like crack it in class. It really bothers me when y'all talk about cracking stuff because I know how small these companies are and how much they need your money. Uh, and that's another discussion for another time. I don't want to talk about it right now, but don't say that in front of me, okay? Thanks. Wanna feel your words. He embrace me like skin across your bones. Like skin across your bones Saw the summer sun Rising without you I wanna see your eyes Staring back at me And all the lives we're living in between Following ourselves Following our hearts. Okay, cool. So I just need to get a couple keys together here because I actually don't know the key of the song. And it sounds like the tuning is a little... Sounds like the tuning's a little bit off for this, but that's okay. I can fix that later if I want to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna play some stuff in and just see what I can get it to sound like and see if we can make the sound any good. So that's enough there. And what I would do is I just go through this here and let's, before I start messing with it though, let's put a, let's put a little bit of like a, 
like an atmosphere on this. So with these synth sounds here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and add a reverb in here. Let's add a reverb and a delay. Two aux tracks, and we're going to call this one uh, Reverb Bells. And the next one will be Reverb Delay, or sorry, Delay, Delay Bells. And what I'm going to do is I'm trying to create a, I'm going to try to create a vibe here. So I'm going to go ahead and color these tracks. And this is what I do when I'm messing around with stuff, when I'm getting ideas for things. I'll just listen to a few times and get some, some sounds in my head. Uh, my, my, I don't have perfect pitch, but once I know the key of stuff, I, I can get it pretty good in there. Um, and this one sounds like it's, it's like D flat major is the key for this one here. So that's the notes for D flat major and um, go in here and let's send these over because I want to get like a little, like I said, I want to get like a vibe going on here. So I'm going to send this in here. Let's get a reverb going on. Let's use this RC20 reverb and send it over to that one. So I'm going to go for my send here. And this is stuff we've talked about here. I'm going to go for my send. I'm going to go into my reverb bells. Like this, so we have this. So we have that sound there, and let's get a hall, let's get into the medium hall piano. That's kind of nice. And then let's get a delay going on as well. Now, the reason why my delay can work is because I went through and did all this stuff, the Beat Detective stuff. Remember we talked about the Beat Detective before? So I went through and did the whole thing in Beat Detective. So I can just have a delay, just kind of like match up with it. So I'm going to go over here to this delay. I'm going to grab a delay from over here. And we're going to use um, the air. Let's see what the dynamic delay does for us. Mono, okay, so we got this one here. And we're gonna go here to this track, and go in here to Delay Bells. And we got this, and so now let's check this out. Yeah, some high cut on this. Cool. We got that there, and I'm going to take this delay and run it into the reverb here. It sounds really nice. It's really pretty. Turn that down. Let's just put a little filter on this as well. Let's see, where's the filter live in here? I know there's one in modulation here. Filter, da, 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 vintage filter, there we go. And these are all the air effects, if you're wondering what these are that I'm messing with right now. These are all the air effects here. Turn the fat down there. See how I can shape the sound? So I'm put that. Wanna feel your words? Here, embrace me. Like skin across your bones. Like skin across your bones. Saw the summer sun rise without you. And if I want to go in here and, and, and mess with these, like, like make them sound better. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and quantize these here. So all of these, I'm going to cut this. Let's start the quantizing right here. Cut it. And this part here, I'm going to quantize it. I'm going to open up my quantize menu, what we talked about yesterday here. And this quantize, go in here. Let's do it to eighth notes. Should be good. Actually, 
I think quarter notes actually can even quantize the quarter notes. Wanna feel your words? He embrace me like skin across your bones, like skin across your bones. Saw the summer sun rise without you. Okay, and you hear how that one's like this weird one, right? So we want to take that one. Delete that. So now I can go over ahead and start from right here. Saw the summer sun rise without you. I wanna see. And I can take these and all these ones in here. I can just go ahead and listen to it and decide. Take this one. And just go through and listen. And this is what you really have to do when you're doing this kind of stuff. Right? Let's take this and put it up an octave. these and I'm just going through and I'm listening to it and I'm making change yeah and just hearing it and what I'm hearing in my head sometimes matches up with what I'm seeing on my screen sometimes not I want to see your eyes staring back at me and I'm going to take this one and move it over to here. Put it here. here. I want to see your eyes staring back at me. And all the lives we're living in between. Following ourselves. Following our hearts. Yeah, yeah, and this sounds pretty. It's like we're just making it sound kind of like pretty and nice. Zoom into that. Put this up, up the octave like that. Following ourselves, following our hearts. And that changes the key a little bit to like this in different. I think it's make these. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute these. This is something we didn't really talk about it uh, yesterday too much. But if you highlight the notes and you hit Command M, you can mute these notes so you don't hear them, but they're still there. So you can mess around with them and you can maybe put them back in later. And I use this for a lot of things. So it's, if I'm not sure what I want to do with it, I'll just uh, go ahead and. Um, like mute it and so I can keep it. Now the other thing we've got going on here, what I want to show you real quick is these are all like some, like a lot of these are like different links. And so what I can do is I can make these all so they're like the same length. Remember our duration yesterday. So I'm gonna just go over here. I'm gonna to go to uh, event operations, change duration. And in here we're gonna set them all to, if you remember, oops, our 16th note was 240. So I'm going to make them all 240. So now, let's go over here. Wanna feel your words. He embrace me. Like skin across your bones. Like skin across your bones. Saw the summer sun rise without you. Wanna see your eyes staring back at me and all the lives we're living in between following ourselves following our hearts What 
Right, and then it gets weird over here. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna mute this whole MIDI line here. And what we should be able to do is just take this here, <clears throat> and just drag it on and over to here into the second verse here. Yeah, so let's go over here to this part and see if that works. I want to watch you wake up every day for the rest of you. Wait, what is that? That does not. I guess that's right. I want to watch you wake up every day for the rest of your life. Burning home, my heart just can't contain. Cause every. Why was that doing that? Oh, oh. Did I make this? Aha. Uh -huh. That's funny. Oh, weird. Okay, because that's like, right, so this is, uh -huh, that's why that's messing around like that. So in here, see how it just got shorter here? The reason why I did that is because I guess I messed up in here somewhere. I thought I'd fixed all that, but I guess not. So in here, if I want to make this, is you can fix this though, because now it's doing it double time, right? And I was like, why is it shrinking like that? See how it's getting longer here and it's shrinking over here? That's super weird. But the reason why it's doing that is because at some point I made it double time in here because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's like right here where I messed it up. I just wasn't paying attention enough. So what I can do is I can take this. And if you look at my tempos up top, you can see right here is where it goes back to normal. Yeah, right there's where it goes back to normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna double this, I'm gonna make this twice as long. So this is a cool thing you can do in Pro Tools. If I go over here to my quantize, and I'm gonna go to, uh, change duration, I think. So this one, hold on, under tempo operations. Oh, maybe I might be thinking about logic time operation insert. Okay, so here, let's try this then. What I can do is take this and use my stretchy, my TCE tool and grab it and move it like that. And so it stretches things out. And then I'm gonna have to cut this here. Let's listen, let's listen to this here. Yeah, and you can see here, it's like off. Oh, that's super annoying. Where does it, where do I actually, how many bars is that? That is four bars from the end, which would be right here, I guess. This one here, copy that, put that there. So that's four bars, so I'm gonna copy this here. 
Math. Not a fan. All right, now we're gonna take this and stretch it over to here. There we go. Okay, so that should work. Let's listen to that. I wanna watch you wake up every day for the rest of your life. Burning home, my heart just can't contain. Cause everything you are is everything I want. I wanna feel your face pressing against mine and fall asleep that way and dream a thousand times. Cool. All right. So that sounds good. Let's listen to this last part here. I am in your hands. I am in your heart. Walking. Cool. All right, just make sure this last note is in here. Should I drag this over here like this? Oh, no, I guess not. Stop. Put this where it needs to be. And I'm consolidating that so we have that last bit there. And this one here, I'm going to go ahead and copy that as well and stack that over here at the end right here. So now I've got this bit here. Cool. I'm going to put that on here like that. There we go. And now what I want to do to make these a little bit different so they're like similar but different, I'm going to take these first bits here and I'm going to go ahead and Put these up the octave, and the way to ease an easy way to do that is just grab all these like this, bring up my transpose, put it up one octave, and hit go. Now it puts it up there, so we've got that there like that. Let's put that up one more octave, and whoops, let's see what that does. Cool. Let's listen to it. I want to watch you wake up every day. For the rest of your life Burning home my heart just can't contain Cause everything you are Is everything I want I wanna feel your face Pressing against mine and Fall asleep that way And dream a thousand times And that note there, uh, yeah, Logic actually has it. GarageBand, not sure about it, but Logic actually does have that feature. So if you are using Logic, it's got it's got all this stuff in it. You can do all this stuff in Logic. I am in your head. Yeah, it's a great feature though. I totally agree with you. Let's listen to that real quick. I am in your hands. I am in your heart. There we go. Put that up an octave. <coughs> there we go. And you hear how it's like it's sticking the note, the note is sticking. So what I'm doing is I'm just like smashing my keyboard. I, that's not the best way to do it, but I don't know another way that Pro Tools has to do it. I'm not used to dealing with stuck notes like this because Ableton Live doesn't have the notes stick like this as much. I am in your heart. Cool. 
So that would be done for the bells, and I would that would be okay. Like for me, that would be enough. Like you worked on it, you, it shows that you did some work, and that's enough. We don't, we don't, it makes sense with the song and all that stuff there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have the pad part come in here, and we're gonna take the pad and go over here to our instruments, and let's grab a um, some kind of a pad sound, like we have it listed here. Let's use the Jupiter 8. Actually, since we're talking about it, pigments yesterday, let's use pigments. Pigments is dope. And I'm gonna show you all dope stuff. So this is the pigments, and we can go in here to Let's use an organ sound. I think I just got this uh, cool. Oop, there we go. Yeah, 21st century organs. I just got this one the other day. I go into my pad. I'm going to turn the volume down so it doesn't blast us out. And we'll just click on the. Sounds good. All right, cool. So let's see the notes are sticking. What did you mean by that? Not to interrupt. So sticking is like, I don't know if you could hear it, but the bell sound was like continuing to hold forever and ever and ever. That's what a stuck note is. It's actually uh, in the notes from yesterday. Um, if you were around yesterday, it, uh, it, it basically, it's like when the MIDI note doesn't, when the note off signal doesn't get sent again, it just gets the note on message and doesn't get the note off message. It's just going to hold forever and ever and ever. And the only way to get it to stop is to make it play, uh, make it hit the get a note off message. So that's what I meant by that. So here's my sound. Cool, so we have that there, and you can see I can mess around with these sounds a little bit. I can go in here to my wavetable. And mess around with my position. Like that. Cool, so that's, that's a good little sound there. Let's just put that into the chorus. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna record some stuff and just see what I like. One more time. So I'm not really terribly happy with anything I played there. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to new playlist. Do that again. And let's just try that one more time and see. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and let's just turn the frequencies down on that. Let's put that filter, put that filter down a little bit. Cool. All right. So one more time. Let's see if we can do better. Walking up that mountainside town, you said you are the one I will follow. So long, so long. He. And I've seen your face a thousand times, but
Okay, well, thank you, uh, Jelani, right? I think that's you, 88 Coops. Uh, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Uh, this one sounds better, and one thing is, with, especially with long notes like this, a lot of times, if, and especially if you listen to music where they're playing long chords and stuff, they, they, they don't need to move that much. We just need something to kind of fill in that space. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and quantize this. Uh, hit apply, boop, there we go. So let's listen. Cool. All right, so we can hear that sounds pretty good. And I've just, I cranked the volume so we can hear it, but that's not actually how loud I would have it in the mix. I'd bring it down like this somewhere. Let's put this into the different places here. Oh goodness. And you can see it did that thing where it stretched things out because my timing was off again. So let's go ahead and fix that. Boop, makes it easy to fix. I love it. And we're gonna bring that, I think. I'm not sure if we can do that with the chorus. The chorus has some cool stuff. The chorus is three, four, actually. I think I mentioned that to you all the other day. But let's just listen to these things now, and I think we're good. And this would be your two MIDI tracks done, right? <clears throat> so just to make sure we're, we sound good. I wanna feel your words. He embrace me Like skin across your bones Like skin across your bones the summer sun rising without you. I wanna see your eyes staring back at me. And all the lives we're living in between, following ourselves, following our hearts. Walking up that mountain side tall, you said you are.
So I'm going to go ahead and just stop there uh, because this is, this timing thing that I did wrong is just going to take a lot of time to like fix this and do some stuff to it. I, these notes are right-ish. Um, I would definitely want to go in and mess with these here to make it sound exactly right. It doesn't exactly fit up like it did over here, which is fine. It just means you had to spend a little bit of time figuring out what notes these are right here. And I don't want to continue doing that. but. I hope you can see what I'm talking about here. These, it's, it's not like I expect you to spend weeks on this. Uh, I expect you to spend hours on it. And I want it to sound good once you're done. I want it to make sense. I want it to sound good. And, and I want it to fit the song. Not just be like, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm done. Yay, I put MIDI in it. That's not MIDI. You're not learning anything if you do that. Uh, and I want you to come away with this with something that you would play for somebody and be like, look what I added to this. It sounds great. I mixed this. I did some MIDI to it, stuff like that. Um, so that's there. Now, are there any questions about this? I, did you see what I did over here in this section here? I took the, uh, the pad and the bells and I ran them over here to my reverb bells and my delay bells <clears throat> so we can hear them. Uh, this is my, my setup here. I've got Omnisphere on here with a little bit of a filter on it. Pigments is in here. And you can use any synth that you want, uh, whatever you have. If you have, just have the stuff that comes with Pro Tools, there's stuff that comes with Pro Tools. It's great. Um, the reverb bells and the delay bells are just going over to these tracks right here. And then what I would do is I'd take all these tracks, and let's call these one MIDI uh, Group. And let's run all these into the MIDI group here. And this MIDI group, it needs to go into the instrument group because it's their instruments. So they're going to go into the instrument group and now they can, uh, let me just solo save these. There we go. And now they're going to go to the instrument group and so we can control the level with everything else. Just get them the same color. There we go. Cool. They'd go over here to this instrument group right here. Uh, so one last thing with the, not with this one here, but in the future, let's see. This milestone here just says, make the instruments, make the MIDI notes, make the instruments fit it. Just use presets. I don't expect you to create your own synths or anything like that. But with the final project, one of the things you are going to have to do is take one of these MIDI lines, or I think maybe just one, and just commit it. And that's super, super easy. We're gonna actually be talking about this in detail. Actually, you know what? I think we're talking about it in detail tomorrow. Let me just make sure. So I don't think we need to talk about it right now. Daily notes, MIDI basics, bounce freeze commit. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's bring, let's talk about this tomorrow, because this is what we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. And then on Thursday, wait, tomorrow's Tuesday, Wednesday, no, today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday, we're going to be talking about the effect chain signal flow. Uh, and this is a really important thing. This is actually not Pro Tools specific. It's for any kind of thing when you're just working with effects. So um, let's do this. Let's take a break for 10 minutes and be back at 12... Uh, 1210. Let's be back at 1210 and let's go into Zoom. At 1210 we're going to be meeting in Zoom, not here. And when we get to Zoom, I'm going to take roll again just to make that, sure that we're all following along. We're all in here. So let's do that. Be back at 1210, please. Thank you. <laughs> 